Masare. I was working at Kakum National Park as a canopy manager. I worked there for 19 years. I helped the whites to construct the canopy walkway at Kakum. In the year 1994, during the PNDC time, uh, one regional secretary was called at Austin. He went to Malaysia and saw this similar canopy walkway in Malaysia. So he asked them how they were able to construct the canopy walkway in Malaysia. And they told him that there were some Canadians, some Canadians who helped put the canopy walkway in Malaysia. So they invited them to Ghana. One is called John Kersen, the other one is called Tom Hensworth. When they came, they are very old, about 90, 70 years. By that time, too, I was a paro trapper. We trap paros to sell in Ghana here. So it was there that I learned how to climb trees. So they came and informed me that I want to do a canopy walkway so that I should help them. So they gave me the idea to build a walkway. So I used six months to consider the one at Kakum National Park. I worked at Kakum National Park for almost 20 years. So I resigned and consulted my own at Bunsu Abrotum Ecotourism Center. I own that one. From there, I've done so many canopy walkways in Ghana, even one at Lake Wam Botanical Gardens. I consider the one at Botanical Gardens, then one at Ave Maria Hotel. Then recently, I'm constructing the longest canopy walkway in Africa at Akosomo. It will be opened by at the end of the year, about 460 meters long. This is the fifth one I've considered at Kintampo. And the word is that uh, it was the CEO of Ghana Tourism Authority, Mr. Akosi Ajima, who invited me to come and help to, uh, to consult this kind of work at Kintampo Waterfalls. So I took almost about two months to complete this one. The whole thing is by uh, climbing techniques. You know, the whites use bow and arrow. When they're about to climb mountains, they use bow and arrow with some climbing ropes, with some equipment. That's the whole tricks. That's what we used to consider this one. I assure the whole nation 100% safe because the materials that we use are very safe. We use uh, stainless cables. It can be there for 100 years. Even the one at Kakom, we considered in 1994, up to date, the same cable is being used. So the cables are very strong. One cable can hold up to 16 tons. And we use about five of them. If you calculate 16 times five, it's very huge. Even an elephant can walk on it, it's very safe. And the ropes are rare polyester ropes. It's not like nylon ropes, it's polyester ropes. One rope can hold up to three tons. And look at the number of ropes that you have used for one bridge. So, definitely no one could fall on it. I built one in Kwara State. Uh, in the year 2012, there was a conference in Ghana and one governor from the Kwara State came to Kakom. So he worked on the walkway and asked some of the guys that who constructed the canopy walkway and there I was invited to do one in Nigeria. So I in Nigeria I caught one. I copied that one. One two is an Ankasa forest. I've done one in Ankasa forest. Recently, uh, some whites from uh, United Arab Emirates, Dubai. They came and invited me, so I'll be there maybe about in two weeks' time. I'll be in Dubai to consult another one in Dubai. Right now, I've registered a company that is called a Kufa and Sons Company Limited with my own children. I have 11 boys. I've trained all of them. Even one in university, another one, two is a nursing, tra a nursing training. All of them, so them all to do it. So I work with my children. Yeah. I have 16 children. 11 boys and 5 girls. Yeah.